Hi everyone, how are you doing? This is Brad Daldesi, 2787. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I made a video, but I figured I would just do a natural makeup, get ready with me. I don't know what I'm going to call this. Let's just call it girl time. How about that? Girl time video. So I'm on my way to pick up my son. I have to run a couple errands and I do have just something in my hair just to keep my head my, up. I can't even talk. I do have this headband on just to keep my hair out of the way. I did dye my hair black and I love it. I absolutely think it's so beautiful. I did it myself. I gave myself bangs. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already have seen the photos um, from the bridal shower and the bachelorette party that I went to and I had so much fun. Thank you for your comments and um, yeah, so this is just going to be me chit-chatting with you guys and just getting ready and that pumpkin back there um, is from my son's field trip when I went with him and that's why it's there and I have his soccer pictures. I got them in. He's adorable. My son. Love him so much. He's five and that's what he looks like. So he stays right there with mommy. And yeah, let's jump into it. I do have some makeup products already on my face. I have my face primed. I have my face um, bronzed up a little bit. I am keeping this look very natural. I have a lip liner on and a eyeshadow base and my eyebrows are done. But other than that, we're incomplete. So let's complete this look together. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is putting some blush because I feel like I look dead without blush and we need some blush right so I'm taking this color in cinnamon it's this nice oh by the way I got my nails done guys I'm so excited I finally got my nails done I was giving them a break because my nails were looking a little ratchet but this color is so beautiful and I will be in one of my favorites so look for look out for that because I did pick it up myself from the store I always pick out nail polishes from the store and take them to the salon but anyways so Let's just put this blush on. So I'm going to kind of tap this in. This is a very pigmented blush. I am taking it from, what is this, temples? All the way down to my cheekbones. And just laying that color down right there. I don't know if you can even see it because you know how this lighting does me all the time. This lighting, it's natural lighting. I'm pale. What can you do, right? It's who I am. God made me this way. I don't know. But anyways, I'm just putting a little bit of color on my cheeks just so I don't look so pale. My cheeks are a little bit dry today. I'm not very sure why. So just ignore that if you can see that. I'm just giving my face a little bit of color because I was looking a little pale there, like I said. So I'm going to go in with another layer. Oh, excuse me. Taking a different brush. We're just going to lay this down. So you guys, I'm really obsessed with the show. Um, For what I was gonna say, Revenge, Rain, Nashville. I'm like all about those shows right now. It's like a problem. When I need to be getting stuff done, those shows just have me have a hold of me, and it's not good. What shows are you guys loving right now? Those are my shows right now. I love those shows. I just love them to death. Again, I'm just trying to get some color on my face. Just so I don't look so pale. Yes, I put blush all over my face. That's how I do it. Okay, so now we're going to move on. So I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Bar, which I hardly ever use, but I figured I, figured I would use it today. So we're just going to take a... Brush. I have my brush. Where is my brush at? I have a vanity, you guys, but I don't know. The way my room's set up, it's just not possible. Like, I will never get any lighting because my window is on this side of the room. 
and I have a vanity that way and it's hard to show it because I have no lighting and the lights in this um, place is not good so that's why I always just use that in the background and my window for now until I have my house so anyways moving on I'm going to take a brush like this and we're just going to set that um, I do have a base on like I said we're gonna get a little bit closer up so you can see what I'm doing and I'm just going to set it with this pink shade right here it's like a baby pink shade the only thing I do not like about this is that you do not have the names on this palette I do not like that but what are you gonna do so I'm just gonna set that I have to pick up my son very soon Okay, I'm not filling that brush, so I'm just going to take my fingers. Anyways, this is the way I normally do it anyways. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that before it gets out of control. Like it's already getting. And you just want to make sure you set that. What are you guys going to be for Halloween? I don't... I'm not dressing up, I don't think... I don't know. I actually don't know if I'm dressing up or not. But moving on, I'm going to take something and put it into the crease area. I guess first I'm going to lay down um, this color here. And I'm just going to take this kind of cream shade. I don't have the names right here because I dropped my little thing. But we're just putting this all over the lid all over the eyebrow part of the eye and the inner socket Oh, and by the way, I wanted to address, I know a long time ago, I posted a picture about a giveaway, but for those of you who do not know, I am a bridesmaid, and I thought I was going to be able to do a giveaway, but I spent so much on this wedding already, and um, my dress was just so expensive, so I just, I'm not going to be able to give away anything now. Hopefully, maybe in Christmas time, I can get something pulled together for you guys and do a giveaway. If you guys would like that, um, let me know. Um, I'm sorry about the um, procrastination about that giveaway. I was planning to do it, but I just, like I said, with all the expenses of the wedding, because I am a bridesmaid, it gets very pricey. So I apologize. And also, it's just... Really, um, I feel bad because I did put that picture up, but I do I do plan to give a giveaway. I do plan to do one giveaway um, sometime, hopefully in the near future. Um, sorry guys if you guys did see that picture and I don't want you guys to think like, what happened to the giveaway because I do want to still do one, I just cannot do it right now. That's all I wanted to say. So moving on, after that big old ramble, we're just gonna go into, so I'm gonna pull you guys in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to take this kind of caramel shade right here. And we're gonna put this in the crease. I'm just throwing it in the crease. Just to create a little bit of shadow right there. And do the same thing on the other side you do want to tap off your brush because of the excess but I'm just being lazy right now I'm just throwing something in the crease okay once you have that one down we're gonna go ahead and take another color which is right here I don't know if you can see what I'm doing it's the color right next to that one And take this a little bit further up on the brow bone and all this is gonna do I'm not really 
putting a heavy hand with this it's just going to create a shadow in the crease so there's not so much space there you can kind of be messy with this because it's not really an eye tutorial it's just a natural look I'm just throwing it in the crease and what windshield wiper motions that's all I'm doing creating a shadow above those eyelids is all I'm doing and carry it into the inner socket of the eye okay and then now I'm just gonna go back with this brush and we're going to blend everything out I'm just gonna try to push you guys back a little bit I'm going in with this brush and I'm just kind of blending everything out I do need to pluck my eyebrows like really bad my bad I need to do a new cover let me know if you guys have any requests or different songs that you think I can sing good to so I can get that up for you guys because I have no idea what I want to sing next on my channel so just let me know what you guys want to hear and I'll try to work on that for you guys and get that up as soon as possible let me know down in the comments what you guys would like me to sing for you so that's it I just have that in my crease now we're gonna move on to um, mascara just a little bit of mascara I'm gonna toss my hair back just because it's getting really really hot so okay I'm just going to excuse this hair that's sticking up over here ignore that just gonna curl these lashes we're gonna put a little bit of mascara on you guys know I'm not like a big mascara person I just I'm so lazy to put on mascara you guys like it's not even a joke I can really get my eyelashes really large as you guys can see in that large and in charge video I did I really can get them to look fake but I just I'm so lazy to do it every day for every day where I just do not care I just do a quick coat and then curl them and I call it a day because you guys know I'm all about my lips that's just what I do I'm really all about my lips like if I'm gonna pick one thing to do for feeling complete it's gonna always be my lips you will never see my lips hardly ever will you see me not put anything on my lips it just does not happen very often so I'm just giving a quick coat so that way you can be like oh she has lashes whoa on my left eye left eye this one guys my left ear right on my left eye I always have to do an extra coat like my right eye I can do just one coat of mascara for that natural look but my left eye just I don't know my left eyelashes are not the business they're just a hot mess all the time so now uh, I did not bring my eyelash separator I usually bring an eyelash separator with me you guys know that but I just did not today I'm just kind of clean that up right there oops and all I'm gonna do is curl these eyelashes after they're dry but I'm not going to actually put any mascara on my bottom lashes because like I said, I'm lazy to do all that. So just for everyday wear, I just kind of throw a little bit of eyeliner just in the rim of my eye. And this is just to kind of 
define the corners. I do take it kind of up on the sides of the eyelashes. I don't go all the way in, just on the sides. And I kind of do let this be messy. I don't really care for day to day. I just think it looks pretty when you just don't even look like you're trying hard. So I'm just going to take this, um, this. I guess I have this liner pencil and I'm just going to kind of fix that a little bit. Make it look a little bit more precise on the bottom. I was not going to put mascara on the bottom, but I feel like I'm going to have to. Okay, so I'm just going to take any eyeshadow will do. We're just going to set that. So I'm just going to set that there. Any eyeshadow will do, like I said. And I am just kind of putting out that outer corner kind of making a wing at the tip. This is just going to make a false illusion that you have wing eyeliner on, but you really don't. And I think I went the wrong way, but that's okay. And then I kind of just connect the pieces like that, the corner pieces. Okay, and then now you can put um, mascara on your bottom lashes if you want to. You don't have to, but it does look a little bit better if you put mascara on your bottom lashes. almost done you guys so last I'm just going to highlight my inner corner I'm going to pull you guys in a little I do have a little bit well I do have a little bit mascara on my eye on this eye over here but don't mind that we can clean that up with the q-tip after we're done so I'm just going to kind of go right in the inner corners and just place that there. It's just going to bring light to your eyes. And then I'm just going to go in with this one more time and we're going to blend that out. This seriously smells like chocolate. I didn't believe it when I bought it that that it was supposed to smell like chocolate. I was like, ah, yeah, right, it's not going to smell like chocolate. It really does. It smells like a cocoa powder. Well, that's what it's made out of. 
Okay, and then you just want to dry these lashes real quick. I have a fan right here, so I'm just putting my head down real quick so that they dry faster. And then now for the last step is my lipstick. So the lipstick I've been loving is this Touch of Spice. It's a matte lipstick by Maybelline. Looks like this. It's one of their newest colors, and everybody's obsessed with this color. I heard of this color um, through so many people, and I fell in love with it as well. And it's called 660 Touch of Spice. So I love this one and Divine Wine. And this one's really pretty. It's just a natural color. It's, oh my god, I'm dropping everything. These are so comfortable to wear, you guys. They're just so good. I really recommend these lipsticks, the Maybelline Matte Lipsticks. This one is in the Touch of Spice, like I said. It's a really pretty color. And then I'm just going to highlight my Cupid's bow, and then I'm finished. I'm going to curl my eyelashes one more time. They didn't even dry all the way, but I'm running out of space on my memory card like always. My eyelashes did not come out the best today, but what are you going to do, right? So that is it. Now all I have to do is put on some lip gloss and call it a day. These two together are so pretty. This is Bare Secret by Milani. So let me pull out so I can show you guys what it all looks like now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. God bless you guys always. This is the final look.